If like me, you live in Europe, you may be used to cars which look something like this, but these vehicles are not the standard all across the world. European cars vary particularly compared to those found in places like North America and Australia. And in this video we're going to be drawing a direct comparison between the European and US car market and asking why are Euro cars so different. Now we must start off with the key distinctions. What exactly makes them different? In the USA car bodies tend to have more variation, ranging from hatchbacks to saloons and most notably pickup trucks, which are quite uncommon in Europe. Now cars in the US are also generally longer and fitted with more powerful, larger engines. And of course I'm aware that small cars exist in the US in the same way that they do in Europe, but they generally tend to be quite a bit more unpopular than what they are in the European market. And there is a good reason for this. Let's have a look first though at a few of the reasons why EU cars are different. And we're going to start off on the point of size and shape. Looking at the size of American cars compared to those found in Europe, we know that European cars are quite a bit smaller. And the reason for this is that American roads are much wider than those found in Europe, and the country is better suited to accommodate modern cars, whereas roads in Europe can often draw their routes back hundreds of years, meaning that they are better suited to horses and carts than they are to automobiles, meaning that a small car is more convenient. Now on top of this, the distances between places in Europe tend to be quite a bit shorter than those found in the US, whereas in the US, long distances mean that comfort is crucial, and that's why cars with a long wheelbase tend to be more popular. Also, urban driving tends to be more common in Europe, which is why the preponderance of city cars is so apparent. Smaller cars also waste less fuel, which is key, as fuel prices are much higher in Europe than what they are in the US. And the price of fuel is a very big influence on people's choice of car style as well, as bigger engines in bigger cars cost more to run. Now speaking of fuel, this is one thing which limits pickup trucks in Europe. Now one of the reasons why you won't find many pickup trucks in Europe is because unlike in the USA, pickup trucks are actually quite impractical, and that is due to cost. If you have stuff to haul in Europe, people tend to use a work van over a pickup truck because owning a pickup truck as a primary vehicle is simply too costly to justify the convenience of being able to carry stuff now and again. And more specifically on the topic of fuel, if Americans think paying $4 a gallon is bad, they're in for a huge surprise when they look at European prices, as Europeans on average have to pay 6 7 maybe 9 maybe even $11 for a gallon as standard. Now if you combine this with lower wages on average in Europe, cars cost more for people to run and people have less money to spend on them. Now this leads to people opting for cheaper solutions to transport. And there are many Europeans who would love to drive bigger cars with bigger engines, but unlike in America, the extreme gas prices in Europe make it very, very hard. Now understandably, one way to save money and to save fuel is to reduce the engine size. And that is why we see much smaller engines in Europe. Whereas in the US, V6 or even V8 models come as standard and are very common, we don't see this in many EU cars. But they are often not required anyway, because like I said, the distances are shorter and the speeds are on average lower, meaning that a powerful 6 or 8 cylinder engine would simply be overkill. Now to add to this, on the topic of engines, what's with the diesel stuff that we see in Europe? Now most cars in America run on petrol or gas, with diesels being quite rare, at least compared to Europe. Now in Europe diesels are very common, and this is due to the increased fuel efficiency which comes with a low revving engine. And whilst diesels are more rattly and slightly more unpleasant to drive, in my experience at least, this is considered to be a fair trade-off for the massively increased fuel efficiency which will save drivers a lot of money in the long run. Now in this video we quickly went over a few of the crucial differences between Euro cars and US cars and hopefully now you guys have a bit more of a clear understanding as to what makes Euro cars so much different. If you did enjoy the video make sure to of course smash the like button and subscribe and I'll be back with you guys on Sunday for another upload.